Hey guys, thank you so much for tuning in today. Today I have a small haul from a store that I didn't expect to be in my local mall. It is a Japanese store called Miniso. I've never heard of it before, but it has pretty much everything. It's kind of like a Japanese department store, but it's small, a small store, just a single um, spot in a mall. And it just has everything. It has uh, dishes, earphones, makeup, bath stuff, socks, t-shirts, everything. It has everything you can imagine, super random, and everything was super cheap and affordable, which was awesome. In there, we picked up a bunch of stuff, um, stuff that we needed, some headphones, a little like mini speaker, stuff like that. But we also picked up some makeup, which I will be showing you on my channel and testing out, seeing if it's any good. And if it is, then I'm gonna go back and grab some more. If you want to see that, then just stay tuned because it'll, the review will be coming right up. I'll be applying it to my eyes here. Obviously, I don't have anything on my eyes yet. That's pretty much it for me. If you end up liking this video, hit that like button um, just down below. It helps me out a ton. Hit that subscribe button if you want to keep up with my videos and hit that bell notification if you want to get a notification whenever I post. Without further ado, I will go right into the tutorial. So if you want to see me try out this Japanese uh, brand's makeup, then just keep on watching. So I'll just go through a little bit about the Miniso brand. I'm just on their website right now, so just getting some information. It's a global retailer. It has more than 1,800 stores around the world and sales revenue uh, of 1.8 billion Canadian in 2016. And it says it appeals strongly to millennials. It worked. More than 80% of the products are designed and developed in Japan, South Korea, Singapore, Malaysia, and China. And most products are ranging from $2.99 to $5. Their goal as a brand is to open 6,000 stores by 2020. It does show products online, but I don't think they sell online. I think it's all in store. You can go to their website and find the closest store that's located near you and pop in, because um, it doesn't look like you can buy it online. For just two products here, two eye products. So one is a mini eyeshadow palette, and then the other one is a uh, waterproof curling mascara. And then the eyeshadow quad looked pretty cool, so decided to grab that as well. The eyeshadow quad was $3.99, which is amazing. And then the Curl Up Waterproof Mascara was also $3.99. So definitely in between that price range that they mentioned from $2.99 to $5. So awesome prices. All right, so I'm just gonna show you the eyeshadow because um, it does come with a little brush. So this is the little brush that it comes with. It does have a brush on one side and a sponge on the other, which is kind of nice. It's not bad. So there's four shades in the eyeshadow quad. I will just swatch them. Gold shimmer here, a red shimmer, a copper shimmer, and then a brown shimmer here. So they're all shimmer shades. And that's those four there. All right, so we're nice and zoomed in. Because there's no, there's all shimmer shades in the palette, I will have to put down a base shade. So I'm using my Hoola bronzer, which I use quite often. I'm gonna grab a little bit of that with a big fluffy blending brush. And we're just gonna go into our crease. I'm first gonna go in with this brown shimmer shade in the crease. I'm just using a little bit more of a dome shaped blending brush. I'm picking up some of this brown color and then I'm gonna be placing that into the outer corners of my crease. Just packing it down first and then we'll blend out. So I'm just packing that down first and then I'm gonna start blending the edges. It's fairly pigmented and it's blending out pretty good. It actually was super easy to blend, so I'm happy. This is just a uh, eyeshadow brush by Smashbox. I'm gonna go in with the red uh, shimmer shade now all over the outer part of the lid and it's just a nice dense brush. I'm gonna tap off the excess and pack this on on the outer part of the lid, kind of where we put the brown near the lid there and going about halfway across and like i'm not really getting any fallout at all which is amazing awesome so that worked really well i'm gonna use the little sponge they give us and i'm gonna go in with the um coppery shade and i'm gonna try to pack it onto my inner part of my lid now going on top it works pretty good, guys. That was so easy, okay. Well, now we have that going on here. Let's use this gold shade with the brush side that they give you of that brush on top of where we've created like a little bit of a line. 
So just in the middle here. And that definitely like adds like a little like pop. Kind of blends the two colors in together. The brush isn't terrible guys, it's working. Like I wouldn't use it for a big area, but if you just want to place color in a small spot, it's kind of perfect for that. Under the eye, I'm just using a angle, fluffy angled brush. And we're gonna go in with that brown shade again. So the dark brown there, and we're gonna pop that underneath our eyes. Just add a little bit of that gold shade, just with my finger to the inner corners of my eye. Just for a pop. And maybe just a touch underneath the brow with my finger as well. So this is the finished eyeshadow look with all of the shadow applied. It looks funny here because the lighting is hitting it weird, but um, everything blended out super easily and was amazing. It was super creamy. They just, they were super easy to use, guys. I obviously wouldn't use four shimmer shades on a normal basis, but I just wanted to test out all the colors. Let's go to mascara. So this is the mascara the curling mascara. It does have a very curled wand. Let's try to apply this mascara. And normally I would use a, a mascara primer, so this is different for me, not doing anything beforehand. And if you don't like a lot of mascara, then I'm sorry because I love mascara and I love uh, long thick lashes, so I'm just putting on how much I would normally put on to really get an idea in comparison to my other favorite lash products. Okay, so that would be about one layer, I would say, of the mascara there. Nice to get a little bit of clumps, but it's easy to pull away and get rid of it because the brushes are pretty, the brush is pretty dense. And I will say that my lashes are definitely more curled than when I apply just normal mascara, so the curling so far is quite, quite nice. Here is the mascara applied one coat only just to the top lashes. I haven't done my bottom lashes yet. I'm gonna go in with a second coat on the top first. The other choices for mascara, they had a, a lengthening and volume mascara. I don't, I think they were all waterproof because this one is waterproof as well. I don't normally use waterproof, um, mascara products anymore because I just find they're too, like, hard to remove. I really like that it's not, like, getting too clumpy. It's just separating them and giving them, like, a ton of curl. That is two coats of mascara, and I think they gave me amazing curl. So I'm just gonna do the bottom lashes now. So we're zoomed in still, and this is the final eye look created with the eyeshadow palette and the mascara here. And I'll just give you a look at the lashes. They are quite curled, which I like. I don't normally have, I have more straight lashes and these are definitely more curled and they gave me quite a lot of length and volume still. I really like it. So yeah, that's everything applied, guys. I'm going to go to my final thoughts. All right, guys, so we're zooming back out. This is the final eye makeup applied. I loved it. Firstly, this eyeshadow palette is amazing. I think the eyeshadows were super creamy. They're blendable um, and very easy to build up color. For $3.99, this palette is amazing. They're basically a dollar a shadow Canadian. Highly recommend if you're looking for some shimmer shadows or just to add to your collection or just want to try it out. I think um, it's really fun makeup and it worked really well. I'm excited to go back and try more from Miniso and see if they have some other hidden gems in there and maybe some different, um, if they have a different color palette, I might pick that up because I really do like these shades. So the second product is the mascara, which was amazing. I think my lashes look really good. I normally use a eyelash primer, so to not use a primer and get basically the same length and more curl is amazing and it's waterproof, which I don't love because waterproofs are a little bit more drying and a little bit hard to remove, but they're nice to have sometimes in your collection. The brush is different, but it was um, dense enough with the bristles that it does separate your lashes and the curl factor is definitely there and I quite like it. I'm excited. I might pick up the other two mascaras, which are the volume and length mascara, just to try them out and compare and see if maybe I like those better. So 
so far though i really like this so overall my mini so uh, haul was a success it's not a really big haul or anything like that but i think i got some quality products and now i'm very interested in more of their products so they definitely did a good job with that i always love finding affordable value makeup so this was really fun for me and i really enjoyed the products so if you do have a chance to pick up anything from mini so i highly recommend it if you want to follow me on social media i'll put my handles up here but there'll be links down below which you can just click and then you can follow me on there and again i hope that you're having an amazing day wherever you are and i hope to see you very soon in my next video